Let's book him! Whoa, you guys are good! Let's throw peanuts at him and see how he likes it! I get what I deserve! Ouch. Let's kick things off with a classic. The smoking peanut from season two. There is a spicy mistake in this episode. Hey Patrick, what are you doing? I'm just continuing my investigation of the great Clamu caper. Have you found out anything? Yes. No, wait. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, SpongeBob. Patrick's on the case. The truth will be revealed. I'd better go see Sandy. She'll know what to do. What kind of inconsiderate person would upset such a gentle creature? This first mistake is really bad, as well SpongeBob is running to Sandy's tree dome and says, I'll ask Sandy, she'll know what to do. A bubble transition starts as it always does, but if you look closely, a blue card from Rough Draft Korea can be seen for a split second. Now I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what is going on here, but Rough Draft Korea is actually where SpongeBob is animated, where like the 2D animation of the show is actually done, so this was a major mistake. This shouldn't be here. But hey, mistakes happen, and let's keep it going, guys, as this video is filled to the brim with crazy mistakes. Let's keep it moving. I'm going to make this one very, very quick. Roll the footage. Here's the mistake in the episode, selling out. Do you know what's in that Krabby Patty you're eating? No. <laughs> ah! See that? Without all your smoke and mirrors, no one would stomach this garbage. What do you say? Garbage? Okay, so this character right here is Incidental 42, and in every episode before this one, this character always has a male voice, okay? A male voice. Here's some examples. Thanks for the roses, SpongeBob. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, free Krabby Patties. This is a load of barnacles. I heard that! As you heard, this dude, it sounds like a dude, right? But in the episode Selling Out, Incidental 42 has a female voice when he says, what did he say? Garbage? What do you say? Garbage? Really strange mistake, but let's keep it rolling, baby. Let's keep this show going. Oh, these are very nice, but I don't have a driver's license. No license, huh? Well, you don't need a license to drive a self-driving boat. <laughs> Settle down, Mr. Squarepants. Wow, you talk. How'd you know my name? I can feel your square pants on my seat. This next mistake is an interesting one and can be found in the episode Drive Happy. Roll the footage. What's wrong, Coop? I'm getting wet. Here, take this. I want to be inside. Like inside? <laughs> All right, Coop, come on in. Did you catch the mistake? Well, whoever wrote this episode, or I guess animated it, needs to go back and educate themselves on the world of SpongeBob, most notably Conch Street. As in this shot, as you can see right here, SpongeBob's iconic pineapple home has a garage in the back of it, all right? You know, a garage where you'd park a car. But here's the issue. At one point in Drive Happy, SpongeBob saws a hole at the front of his house so that Coop, his car, can enter and seek shelter. This was completely unnecessary, SpongeBob, because you you know, you have a garage. So like, why would you do that? Well, it's not SpongeBob's fault. It's the animator's fault. They forgot about this garage, as you can see in this shot, and then made SpongeBob do this in this episode. What a weird mistake. This one's so weird that I just want to move on from it to our next episode. Let's keep it going. One really good episode from season 13 is Goofy Scoopers. I mean, anything Goofy Goobers related, I love. But like any episode, this episode has a mistake. Here's the mistake. Let's see if you can catch it. I did like being a bridge, but I was built to make music. Now let's yeah. rock! This 
one's just really funny, but at the ending of the episode, during this close-up of Clem Clam playing the trumpet, that man is playing the heck out of that trumpet, take a look at his shirt, as the stripes on his shirt switch colors at the end. First it looks like this, but then they just switch colors, which is really strange. But let's keep it moving, gang. We've got more mistakes than this, and they're spicy. Oh, Sheldon, you're so romantic. It's all about oh. you today, Karen. Oh, kiss me, Pipsqueak. I mean, Ray Ray. <laughs> Grandma! I told you never to call me on this screen! Our next set of mistakes can be found in the episode of Grandmum's The World, and they all take place near the ending of the episode. Take a look at this. I'm not sharing this formula with you! Yeah, with Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you toss the peasants a little something? <laughs> so, at the very ending of the episode, when all of these bikini bottomites are like bowing down to Lily, Squidward's grandmother, well, look at this. Red numbers appear on the screen for about a second. This one's kind of similar to the last mistake we just covered, as it was clearly done by the animators. They forgot to remove these red numbers. It was probably a part of the animation process. But it's still a mistake, and it looks really bad. But that's not it for this episode. In that same scene, um, Mr. Krabs's eyelashes are missing. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't know how you forgot to draw Mr. Krabs' eyelashes. He always has them. Normally he looks like this, but in this one shot, they're missing. And guys, there's more. So take a look at these shots of the Krusty Krab. As you can see, there's the Galley Grub menu. It's always there. It's been there since the first season of the show. And as you can see, Krabby Patty on the menu is always spelt as K-R-A-B-B-Y-P-A-T-T-Y. Remember this, as in Grandmom's The World, during this one scene, um, Krabby Patty is misspelt as P-A-T-T-I-E. So a little bit of a spelling mistake there, huh? Not that big of a deal, but I mean, it is a mistake. That's not how Patty's supposed to be spelt. But anyways, let's keep it moving and head to our next episode. Our next mistake can be found in the episode Shell of a Man from season four. You know, season four is pretty hit or miss for me because that's when Steven Hillenburg kind of left the show, but I don't hate this episode. It's good. What I don't like about this episode though, as you guys can guess, is the mistake. There's one that's really bad and it's kind of hard to catch. Let's see if you guys can catch it. What's in this thing? Treasure? A treasure trove of sorts. Why'd you dig up your Navy chest, sir? Well, my Navy buddies and I are having a reunion. This is me manly toughness trophy. Who are those guys? Me shipmates. The toughest bunch to ever sail the briny deep. Did you have a cool nickname, Mr. Krabs? Of course. I was old Armor Abs Krabs. You were? So watch closely, guys. This one, like I said, can be kind of complicated. So when Mr. Krabs shows SpongeBob all of his old Navy treasures, take a look at the left flag in his office with the white and blue triangles, okay? If you watch slowly throughout this scene, this flag and the triangles keep rotating. First it looks like this, then it looks like this, then it looks like this. Very easy to miss because it's in the background of the scene, and I mean like, who cares? I care though, because this is a mistake, and it's a pretty bad one once you catch it. But anyways, let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. When I get through with you, your own ringmaster won't recognize you. <laughs> This next mistake happens very fast. It can be found in the episode, Don't Feed the Clowns, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Keep those eyes peeled! <laughs> Here's your stool! Here's your stamper! Uh, 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 
So during these business building scenes, we see the character R.A. Pennypincher a bunch of times. He's just there within the business building. But during this one scene, the animators must have been feeling lazy or something. I don't know what was going on as Pennypincher is replaced with another incidental 41. Kind of weird. I know this might not seem like that big of a mistake, but it is a mistake. So it's, it's very strange. Let's keep it moving though and head over to another episode. This one, guys, be prepared. Be prepared. It's going to be a wild mistake. First up is the episode Funny Pants, and boy, oh boy, does this episode have a lot of mistakes. Like, there's like 10 plus, but for now, we're gonna focus on a couple. Here are some clips. You're burning up, SpongeBob. I am. The temperature is 175 degrees. Is that bad? SpongeBob, you've got to be careful. You're going to burn out your laugh box. My laugh box? If you burn out your laugh box, you'll live your whole life without ever laughing again. Hey, Patrick, you want to hear a joke? Sure, Sandy. I love a good laugh. What has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch it? That first mistake takes place during this scene, during SpongeBob's daydream. When Sandy tells SpongeBob if he wants to hear a joke, as you can see, her tail is there. She's got her tail, her fluffy little squirrel tail. But when SpongeBob says, sure, I'd love a good laugh, and it cuts right back to them, um, where is Sandy's tail? Where'd her tail go? Squirrels don't just randomly lose their tail, guys. I think the animators forgot to draw her tail during this scene. And guys, this happens a lot throughout this episode. For example, this scene right here. Roll the footage. Maybe I should ask Sandy. Now, what is laughter? The thing that used to give my life meaning and purpose. But scientifically speaking, it's caused by your epiglottis constricting your larynx, causing irregular air intake and respiratory upset. Sounds painful. Here's some humor theory textbooks, uh, laugh mechanics, and the quantum giggle theory. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, like I said, it happens a lot. During this scene where Sandy pulls down this chart of the body, um, where's her tail again? It's gone. I mean, it's only gone for a split second, but it's still gone. That girl's missing her tail. That's not the only thing she's missing in this episode, guys. As take a look at this scene at the ending of the episode, it's not her tail that's missing this time. It's something else. Can you guys catch it? Leave a comment before I actually show you the mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. But yeah, roll the footage. Spongebob, there's no such thing as a laugh. Box. I made the whole thing up. <laughs> <laughs> you really fell for it. What a shamil. <laughs> Look, he's waking up. Um. Where am I? You're in the hospital, silly. You broke your laugh box. So they cut it out. Cut it out? Yeah. Want to see it? It's fun to shake it up and watch it bounce around. Ah! Again, it happens near the ending of the episode. But when SpongeBob wakes up from his coma, um, Sandy's zipper and badge are just missing from her suit. They're just gone. Here's a shot of how it normally looks. As you can see, she has all the designs on her drippy suit. But in this one shot, they're just not there. Again, the animators just didn't draw them. So yeah, they're really doing Sandy dirty in this episode, guys. She's missing her tail twice. And they even messed up on her iconic suit. I feel bad for Sandy. But anyways, let's keep the episode going, guys. We've got tons of episodes in this video, tons of mistakes, so yeah, stay tuned. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Well, once I finally have the secret formula, the post-apocalyptic global empire of destruction that results will be mine. That sounds pretty villainous. Okay, we'll move on to the test phase. Good old SpongeBob season 13. This season's still airing, but honestly, guys, I think season 13 has been really good. And one of the better episodes has been Captain Pipsqueak. This episode was filled to the brim with so many Easter eggs. I'm gonna get into the mistakes, but take a look at this one clip and comment all the characters you can recognize. Do you ever sign in and wait your turn? Get out of the car, fellas! Take all your money and put it in the bag! No, Mr. Bob, I expect you to fry! <laughs> I am the strength! I'm the strength! <laughs> I want to see those comments. Like I said, comment every character you could recognize in what episode they're from. It's wild. But let's get into the good stuff, what you clicked on the video for, and that is some spicy, crazy, wild mistakes. Roll the footage. Uh-oh. In 
coming. This is it over! Hard day at work? I know what you need. So take a look at this footage of Plankton's classic computer wife, Carrot. Imagine having a computer wife like Plankton. You are desperate, bro. Like what? Then again though, having a computer wife would actually be kind of nice because anyways, Karen's hands are always blue. Take a look at this footage. Happy birthday. Nice to see you again, Grandma Plankton. But I guess the animators forgot about this one as in Captain Pipsqueak, look, Karen's hands are colored as gray for some reason. Hey, maybe Plankton changed up her design, but I don't know. I think that was just a mistake. I think the animators forgot that they're always blue. But here's mistake number two. Oh, you might as well give us the secret formula now, Krabs. <laughs> What, you nerds going to a comic convention? This one isn't that big of a deal because, I mean, it is, like, a cartoon, but as you can see here, when Man Ray enters the Krusty Krab, he blasts a massive hole above the entrance. Right here, you can see it. But once they're in the restaurant in later scenes, the hole that he literally made seconds prior is just gone. The animators drew it here, but then forgot to draw it during this scene, so yeah. Another mistake, let's keep it going, guys, and head over to another season 13 episode, let's go. Okay, so our next mistake can be found in another season 13 episode, Squidward's Sick Days. And this one is really funny because when you really think about it, it's actually like a hilarious mistake. Here are the clips, roll the footage. Oh, I can't believe I'm dreaming about work when there's so many more interesting things I could be doing. My unfinished painting, my unfinished symphony, and my uneaten strudel. <laughs> My so this delicious looking strudel right here, guys, I want a bite of this. Do you want a bite of it? Leave a comment. Would you eat this strudel? I want some of it. But yeah, the strudel, okay? As you can see, there is steam coming off of it, so it's hot, right? Like they're really animating this strudel as if it's hot. It's steaming hot. But here's the problem. Squidward had just woken up, right? Like he just woke up during the scene, and we know that he made the strudel the day before, yesterday, right? He made it and then put it out by the window so it would cool the previous day. So how is it hot still? He made the strudel yesterday and he just woke up. The dude didn't just wake up and the strudel was still hot. So this is just a really silly mistake. I hope you guys get what I'm saying for it because this is a bad one. But anyways, during that same scene, there's actually another mistake. I'm going to roll the clip again really quickly. Did you spot it? Oh, I can't believe I'm dreaming about work when there's so many more interesting things I could be doing. My unfair finished painting, my unfinished symphony, and my uneaten strudel. <laughs> My strudel. Yeah, so when Patrick bites into that delicious strudel that is somehow still hot, even though it's a day old, um, Patrick's eyebrows disappear for a split second. It literally only happens for a second as he's eating the pastry. But yeah, talk about two mistakes in one scene, guys. And I have one more mistake from this episode. One more. Oh, yes, I like that. Uh-huh. <gasps> Squidward, you're overexciting yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. In my imagination, you're a helpless little baby. Gee, you're sicker than I thought. So take a look at this painting right here, okay? As you can see in the painting, SpongeBob is holding a baby Squidward. Aw, Squidward, you're such a cute baby. Now, as you can see, SpongeBob's arm on the left from our viewing perspective is yellow right here. But take a look at his other arm in the picture as it's green. The animator's messed up. His arm's supposed to be yellow, but his arm's the same color as Squidward. Dude, what? This is a really bad one, guys. Look at how awkward that looks, but let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. Construction workers are always hungry. Krabby Patties, get your red hot Krabby Patties. See you. Next up is the episode Food PBFFT Truck, a really, really good episode from season 13. This is one of my favorites. Here are some hilarious clips from the episode. Don't you want a Krabby Patty? I'd love one, but it's so far away. <laughs> 
that food truck stole me customer. Behold, the brand new to me food truck. We won't sell any patties from that old jalopy. You better sell a patty, or you better not come back. You're driving. Ooh, I can navigate. Okay, 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 it's time for the mistakes. It's mistake time. It's what you guys clicked on this video for. And during this one scene, take a look at this character, Incidental45. Well, during this one shot, the animators messed up and drew Incidental45 two times. He's right here at the dining table with Incidental42, but then there's another one waiting in order to get money to Squidward. Now look, Incidental duplications did happen a lot in earlier seasons of the show, like season one, two, or three. It makes sense, but in modern Spongebob, this never happens and is totally a mistake. And guys, there's one more mistake I want to show you guys today. Keep those eyes peeled. There are so many customers here. Maybe the Rock Bottom Mall? Where is everybody? The circus should be good for crowds. Maybe it's a flea circus. <laughs> Yeah. It's still warm. So as you just saw, when SpongeBob and Squidward are driving around in Rock Bottom, which is so cool by the way, seeing Rock Bottom again, I love this place. But yeah, they're driving around and they pass this question mark store once, right? But the animators must have forgot about this and reused the background or something as they end up passing the store twice, which wouldn't have been possible. They passed it once. It should be behind them. It shouldn't reappear again in front of them. So yeah, another mistake. I love this next episode, Enemy in Law, just because the plot is so funny. Plankton falls in love with Betsy Krabs, Mr. Krabs' mom. Imagine having like a mortal enemy and falling in love with their mama, their mama. Plankton, you're crazy. Anyways though, here are some clips summarizing this episode. It's really funny. Everything I do is always wrong in your eyes. Maybe it's because you are always wrong. Why did I ever install that nagging software? Nagging software? I heard that. Why did I ever buy that computer wife? Such beauty. I've never felt like this before. Your gentleman caller awaits. Hello, my dear. I'd like to hear about you. Well... Like the crabs! Eugene! Mommy? Mommy? SpongeBob! Mrs. Krabs in full view of this restaurant. Would you marry me? Ooh. This episode is full of mistakes. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna play some clips and the mistake's gonna be in there. Hopefully you guys can spot it. <coughs> I've reservations for two tonight. Like this way, sir. You put me boyfriend down this instant. Boyfriend? But mommy. You heard the lady. Let me go. I'm sorry me son had to spoil our romantic evening. You. Eugene. I came to warn you, Plankton. Stay away from me, mother. I know what you're really up to. Now stop trying to get the formula out of me, mother. What are you talking about? So there's actually two mistakes going on here, and it has to do with the interior of the Krusty Krab. So first things first, take a look at this scene where Mr. Krabs barges into the chum bucket in anger, as some scenes show these red pipes on the wall, but then some scenes where we get the same shots are missing the red pipes. So in some shots, there's red pipes. Some shots, there aren't. I don't know what the plumbing situation is in the Krusty Krab, but they need to get that sorted. And that's not it. As when Plankton walks into the Krusty Krab with a rose during this scene, as you can see right here, there is a burger sticker on the window. Now I'm hungry. I really want to go and get myself a McDouble. But the problem is, once Plankton's actually inside the store, there is now no stickers at all. This then happens again when Mr. Krabs walks in. You can see the sticker, the burger sticker, but then from the inside, it's gone. So some continuity errors going on with this scene. And guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love ya. And if you're new, seriously, if you're new to the channel right now and you want to talk to me, subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So right now, if you leave a comment and then you subscribe in YouTube studio, it'll show me you're subscribed and I'll respond for sure. I love talking with you guys. So leave your comments, subscribe, and a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. Let's go. Any of you who did just subscribe, you're now a 
part of the Grapple Gang. We're one of the best SpongeBob and cartoon communities on YouTube. And shout out to the Premiere Gang. Anybody here at the live premiere? What's up, gang, 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 gang? I love you guys. Also, last thing, guys, I'm gonna be streaming soon. I know I've been saying this for a while, but I'm gonna be streaming at least three or four times a week, playing games like Roblox, SpongeBob games, Mario Kart, Splatoon, games like that. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, you'll definitely be able to play. So hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when your boy goes live. Anyways, though, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with more content. See you then. Peace.